Hey YouTube, how y'all doing today? Uh, first off, I want to say thank you for clicking on my video and choosing to spend this time with me. And I want to say thank you. Thank you from God. Thank you from your spiritual team, your guides, your ancestors, and your guardians. They all want to say thank you for taking the time out to be here with spirit and hear what has to be said. Um, so today we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, uh, this is uh, Earth card. Your dates are September 2nd to September 11th. The answer to any question you have right now is yes. Uh, Virgo, Venus, and it's the sacral chakra card. Excuse me. So they don't say sacral, they say root. So this is a sacral. Sacral. Okay. So your abdomen. Right. Uh, what, your belly. the Your belly button. Anyways. Uh, comment if, or if you're an innie or not. <laughs> I'm an any. Um, anyways. Is so... Uh, so you have um, financial dependency, lack of stability and security, reckless spending, superficiality, and uh, failure. Now, the fact that this is the Nine of Pentacles at all. And, and I'm kind of I'm kind of coming to realize this is that there's an answer in the reverse meaning of it, okay? That allows you to turn this card around. You have this opportunity. This this is a thing. You can have the Nine of Pentacles. You can have abundance. I believe I've I've heard people say it's wish fulfillment too. Um, but you have financial dependency, lack of stability. And security, reckless spending, superficiality, and failure. So, the big thing I really want to point out here, and I'm sorry that this is going to be about money, but that this is this is going to be about money. This could be uh, relationships too, but you know, like relationship uh, relationship dependency, right? Codependency. Uh, Lack of stability and security, reckless spending. So like reckless loving or reckless caring, reckless emotions. Uh, superficiality, so being superficial. So looking at the surface level of things as opposed to the deeper meaning and failure. Um, so you need to stop looking at yourself from a failure mindset okay at the end of the day it really doesn't matter who has what to say about you okay it, it it doesn't okay because at the end of the day no matter who says whatever or no matter who has to be whatever way it is fine right because you still have to wake up tomorrow being yourself okay and there's there's no point in uh allowing yourself or another motherfucker to to do anything um to make you feel worse or less than right yeah you should always you should always just smile right I, i'm not good at it right but i know that that's what the answer is uh i i try really hard and uh i think um i think that nine out of ten people uh, would probably view me as, as, as being able to handle stuff, but, uh, that 1% who, who gets me on edge, um, I think that if they encountered me, they would still be able to come away from the situation saying, he, he tried real hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I tried, I tried real hard to handle that situation nice and, uh, nice and cozy like right and so um but i really think that this is uh financial dependency I, I think this is about your finances okay and so the biggest answer for you to turn this card around and make it i was looking to see if it actually said wish fulfillment but it doesn't but i've, I've, I've heard that mentioned about this card 
Um, the biggest thing to help you turn this card around and start achieving your wishes is your financial security, okay? Now, like again, again, I'm sorry that this is about money, but let's 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 be honest here, okay? You have to have money in order to move on from situations, right? You have to have money in order to move on from a job. You have to have money in order to move. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and so, uh, finances gives you the the freedom to know that you don't have to be you know not here as in living but you don't have to be in your situation any more than you want to be right so long as you have finances so long as you have finances it's, it's a matter of loading everything in the car and getting gone right so long as you have finances uh now this says about um reckless spending and um i don't consider myself to be a reckless spender however though i do find myself uh finding myself tight in the money situation from time to time that's why that's why i went and got myself a second job too uh youtube deliver newspapers deliver pizza youtube deliver newspapers deliver pizza that, that's what that's what i'm gonna do uh and uh i'll figure out my sleep schedule in the meanwhile um, but it's something, it's something that can be done and, uh, and I'm gonna do it, uh, way I got it figured. So I make, uh, $700 every two weeks from my first job, right? Uh, I started subbing for doing, so doing extra newspapers and that, that pays double, right? So, uh, so you figure I'm at least looking at once everything um because i start i started off with 50 papers last night i had 76 uh, i'm sure they'll give me more there was a time that uh believe it or not there was a time that i was zone manager at the exact place that i work at i ended up having uh two seizures two grandma seizures back to back uh may 5th of uh 2022 i think it was um and uh yeah yeah may 5th of 2022 and so um what you call it i i feel like i had to recoup a little bit like i feel like there was uh something like a learning process maybe but it wasn't it wasn't very much it wasn't like really noticeable it was just frustrating sometimes and then once that all worked its way back out, I'm, God bless it, I'm right here. Uh, but, uh, so I used to actually be zone manager at the place that I worked at. So there was a time where I used to, because there were no other managers, everybody quit because of COVID. And so it was just me by myself with carriers that I had turned into subs. And uh, I ran the whole city. I ran from uh, Girdwood to Eklutna. If you don't, if you ain't from Anchorage, Alaska, the, that is, um, Girdwood is more like a road as far as I'm concerned, right? But, but it's actually its own town. So I have two towns that way. And then, uh, and then Girdwood, uh, is, I think, I think that that stretch of the Alaska highway is considered the most dangerous part of the high, part of the highway. It's not the most dangerous highway in the world, but it's the most dangerous part of the highway in Alaska. Uh, and then you get way out there to Gerbwood, which is where uh, Alaska Ski Resort is. Um, anyways, I used to make sure all of that was covered each and every night. What happened was, I, well, at least what I think happened, was that uh, I worked myself to death. And, uh, and I did. I was putting in like 14, 16 hour days. Uh, there was a point in time where I was clearing 2500 close to $3,000 every two weeks uh, with with everything I had going on. And life was good. Life was tiring, but life was good. And so I'm sure I'm going to get myself right back into the life is tiring part. 
However, though, uh, doing, um, doing, uh, 14, 16 hours a day in your Jeep is, is a little hard when it comes to a driving job. Cause like I said, I was just driving just straight. Uh, I used to drift entire neighborhoods, right? Like in the middle of the night when nobody's awake. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Uh, but, uh, and throw throw newspapers just boot and I now I can still throw newspapers like boot but you know uh, I mean I can throw from the street and hit the front door that sort of stuff I I can I can aim uh, watch out for me with the throwing knife because because I got you and uh, I'm dominantly right-handed but being in the jeep or being in your car and having to throw newspapers you gotta throw with your left hand so I can hit you with both hands <laughs> um, but the uh, the thing to say here is, is that uh, you um, you got to focus on that. You got to focus on on your finances, okay? And that's going to give you the confidence that you need, and that's that's going to help you to have more stability and, and more of a grounding, okay? Uh, it's kind of shitty to say that your job helps define what your value is, but legit um because i've already been in this situation before uh well i've already been in all these situations before i've already been homeless before i've already been living in my car before i was homeless at 14 uh you know <laughs> got myself a car so i could live in it i mean you know that sort of thing uh and uh, uh i've 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 experience some things but i'm gonna tell you once you once you get to that point to where you're you're cashing in like i say about 2500 every two weeks um life is good life is good and now with me having two jobs and me living in my jeep i ain't got much to spend it on right i can't go buy a big screen tv where i'm gonna go put it right i can put it up here i know i don't thought but nonetheless uh you see what i'm saying uh yeah, I could go buy an Xbox, but, 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 you know what I mean? I'd have to have the TV there, and then I had to have the Xbox back there, and then, you know, if I get the Xbox, and I get the surround sound system, and it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just too much. By the time it's said and done, where do I sleep at? Uh, but nonetheless, um, so, uh, so I say to you, though, um, you gotta, you got to focus on that. You got to focus on um, the material things right now, unfortunately, because that is the thing that can get you um, not just physically out of your situation, but also uh, on an inner, on an inner spot, right? On an inner, you know, in an inner space, can get you feeling stable, right? Because you know that you got it. Right, you know that you got the cash and uh it's unfortunate to be able to say it but it's true if you got the cash you, you're good right you're good as long as you got your money you're straight right and uh i because i say it's unfortunate to say it because i think a lot of people get caught up on that the truth of the matter is is that you're not really good until you till you're solid on the inside say so you've done your work um but this is this is saying that in order to turn this into your uh into your the nine of pentacles right to turn it to turn it right side up uh so that it is wish fulfillment um requires you to focus on your finances right now is what i'd tell you so I, i'd say focus on your finances and your wishes will come true is what i would say so like and subscribe to my channel and uh, love y'all and uh, catch y'all in the next one. All right, later.